This video is a quick extension to the fiat markets video in which we set up for USDT and the British Pound and were able to directly pull and track prices from Kraken's Pound USDT market with the OTC's dynamic pricing. With dynamic pricing, we will generally have access to tracking fiats like dollar, euro, pound or yen directly, but with almost 200 fiat currencies in the world, there is a chance a fiat that you want to offer to your users is not available. Luckily, there is a simple workaround we can use to ensure our users can use their local currencies, a huge boon to your exchange, as you could be among very few providers offering conversion to crypto and that fiat directly. First, check if the asset is already supported on HolaX. From the operator controls into assets, then the green add asset button and then the middle tab for fiat you can see we do already have a good list of fiat ready to go but in the case of the desired fiat is not currently available this is fortunately simple to set up just head over to your email and drop the support at holax.com email a quick message with the fiat you are requesting and they will guide you through the process to get it added in no time back to setting up the fiat market here I want to offer direct trading between the UAE dirham and USDT. We can see that the trade button to the right is greyed out, and so let's resolve this and add that market. Just as in the last video, go through the steps to add the OTC broker deals for dirham and USDT. And once we get to the pricing section, here is where we have the issue, as there is no appropriate market to track offered on the large exchanges but by using the advanced section, we will be able to do this. So by selecting Kraken as our source and opening the track market price box, we can search for USDT and at the bottom, select the USDT and actual US dollar market. Setting the spread close to zero, we see that as we would expect, the price retrieved will be close to one. Then by going into advanced, we are going to make the edit to bring those prices in line with the dirham. Find the current conversion rate between dirham and dollar, which at the moment is about 0.27, and then back into the advanced section, we multiply the base amount of the Kraken market by that conversion rate. Remember that this rate may need to be updated to match any fiat currency changes over time. With this set, we can see that the price refresh now matches what we would want for users buying and selling with dirham. Of course, for USDT, due to its nature as a stablecoin, the price won't fluctuate too much, so dynamic pricing won't have too dramatic an effect. But let's expand this same process to a more useful situation, such as Bitcoin. Skipping the initial setup steps and getting back to the pricing page of a new Bitcoin and Dirham deal, and again, choosing the Kraken market to source the price, but this time searching for the Bitcoin to US dollar market and checking that price, we see what we would expect currently just under 60,000. Doing the same process as previous, however, we see something odd. Looking online, I see that the current DRAM price of one Bitcoin is around 220,000. However, my price quote here is quite far off this amount. Instead, in this case, we must divide such that the price, as we see here, is the true market value of around 220,000 dirham to a single Bitcoin. The general advice here would be to closely compare this pricing screen with a tool like Google to ensure that you are offering your market at a price that won't cause you any unexpected stress down the line. Jumping back now to the first USDT deal, finish that setup process refresh and the market will be added. Logging off now as the admin and let's test this new market as a user. So this user has DRAM deposited and wants some USDT. Clicking trade here and swapping such that I'm converting the DRAM and then in the USDT requesting 10. We see the quote for DRAM and confirm the trade. It is instantly complete and we can see in the wallet the crypto now there. I can also see that trade reflected in history. Thanks for watching.